Formation of the habit of saving does not mean that you shall limit your earning capacity. It means just the opposite, that you shall apply this law so that it not only conserves that which you earn in a systematic manner, but it also places you in the way of greater opportunity and gives you the vision, the self-confidence, the imagination, the enthusiasm, the initiative and leadership actually to increase your earning capacity. Stating this great law in another way, when you thoroughly understand the law of habit, you may ensure yourself success in the great game of money-making by playing both ends of that game against the middle. You proceed in this manner. First, through the law of definite chief aim, you set up in your mind an accurate, definite description of that which you want, including the amount of money you intend to earn. Your subconscious mind takes over this picture which you have created and uses it as a blueprint, chart, or map by which to mold your thoughts and actions into practical plans for attaining the object of your chief aim or purpose. Through the law of habit, you keep the object of your definite chief aim fixed in your mind, in the manner described in Lesson 2, until it becomes firmly and permanently implanted there. This practice will destroy the poverty consciousness and set up in its place a prosperity consciousness. You will actually begin to demand prosperity. You will begin to expect it. You will begin to prepare yourself to receive it and to use it wisely, thus paving the way or setting the stage for the development of the habit of saving. Second, having in this manner increased your earning power, you will make further use of the law of habit by provision, in your written statement of your definite chief aim, for saving a definite proportion of all the money you earn. Therefore, as your earnings increase, your savings will, likewise, increase in proportion. By ever urging yourself on and demanding of yourself increased earning power on the one hand, and by systematically laying aside a definite amount of all your earnings on the other hand, you will soon reach the point at which you have removed all imaginary limitations from your own mind, and you will then be well started on the road toward financial independence.